Hello everyone, welcome back to this video. So now we'll be continue on the topic cell structures and function. So before we start the another sections of the topic, uh, we would like to con um, recall a little bit on the topic that we discussed earlier, which is on the cell components of animal cells and also plant cells. So first, what is this? This round um, big thing right here, this is the biggest components um, in an animal cells. What is it? It's a nucleus. Next, on this, what is the structures of this? Do you remember? It's called a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. How about these small round structures right here? This is lysosome. Next, on this medium right here, the whole yellow thing is jelly-like. So we call this as a cytoplasm. And how about the outer layer of the animal cells right here? Do you remember I call this as the, the guard of the animal cells? It controls what is going to come in and goes out of the cell. We call this as a cell membrane. And next, we have this um, small white spaces right here. Sometimes you'll find it in animal cells. Sometimes you cannot find it. So what is it? It is your vacuoles. And then next, on this important structures, um, usually on the outer layer of the animal cells, we call this as a Golgi apparatus. And another one structures, the small um, spherical components right here. This is your ribosomes. And do you remember the functions for ribosomes? Is to produce protein. And after produce protein by ribosomes, Golgi apparatus will take up the protein and then they will package it, they will process it, and then they will transport it out of the cells. Okay, so they are both connected. And next on this, look similar like this. This is your rough endoplasmic reticulum. You can see it's rough, it contains a little bit of small dots on the surface. It's because the rough endoplasmic reticulum contains ribosomes on it. All right. And lastly, these structures that contain a double layer, we call this as a mitochondria. And the very important function for mitochondria is to produce energy in the form of ATP. All right, next on plant cell. This, you know, this is a nucleus. And this very characteristic for your plant cells. What is it? Green in color. This is known as your chloroplast. And it involved in a very important um, process called photosynthesis in plant. And next, you have this layer. This is not the outermost layer. Um, you need to be careful on the label. This is called the cell membrane, same like the animal cell. And next, you have the outermost layer of this implant cell. This is known as a cell wall, very characteristic for the plant cell as well. And then this one, you know, is your mitochondria. And then you have these very large big things right here. We also call this as a cell cell. What is this? This is a vacuole. Just now in animal cells, it's very small. Now in plant cell, we usually will get a very big vacuole to store all the medium, all the fluid water inside, okay? And then next on this jelly-like medium, the whole thing, light green color, is known as your cytoplasm. All right. So for this video, what you need to know is that um, we want you to compare and contrast the components of animal cells and plant cells. So question before um, before the lesson, um, this question you always find it in your examination. So to compare and contrast animal cells and plant cells. So a little bit um, tips that I would like to give you all is that um, when you see the words compare and contrast, uh, you can always draw a table to you know compare and contrast, state the common features, the similarities, and also the differences. So in this case, will be animal cells and plant cells. So any question you see compare and contrast, you can always draw a table to describe your answer. So this, this is the table that I draw. So what is the similarities between animal cells and plant cells? So both animal cells and plant cells, they are made of the nucleus, cytoplasm, plasma membrane, Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, uh, both rough and also smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and also ribosomes. So all these cell components right here, you can find both in your 
plant cells and also animal cells. Okay, so that's why we call this as a um, similarities. And in contrast, for differences between plant cell and animal cells, plant cell um, they will has a fixed shape. So maybe in the examination, you'll face the question like, mm, why do animal cells um, have a fixed shape? This is because the plant cells have a cell wall, while animal cells does not have a cell wall. So cell wall, the function of cell wall is to maintain a rigid shape of a plant, okay? So animal cells do not have a fixed shape because they do not have a cell wall, all right? So for the next features, the next differences is that plant cells have chloroplasts because plant cells undergoes photosynthesis, while animal cells do not have chloroplasts. And plant cells have a large vacuoles, while animal cells can um, have a small vacuoles or even do not have any vacuoles, all right? Remember the um, diagram just now is very important. And then plant cells, they store carbohydrates in the form of starch. So when you see starch, it's a plant carbohydrate, while animal is glycogen. Glycogen is the animal cells carbohydrates. And lastly, plant cells, they does not have a central. You remember the previous um, video that what's the function of a central? A central um, contains a spindle fiber, which is essential for um, cell division. Cell division is um, for the cells to, to grow, okay? So cell division is a topic that we'll learn in the future, no worries. So just remember that for now, animal cells have centrals, while plant cells do not have centrals. All right, so this is a table that you might want to draw it out yourself and practice, and including the diagram of the animal cells and plant cell, try to draw it out and label it and practice. So that's all for today's video. Thank you. And if you have any questions, um, please leave it in the comment section below. And I will always um, be ready to prepare for the topic that you are interested in. Okay, bye-bye.